Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome to Quick Build 2.0. If we connect the dots, we see that it goes to here and then up to there. And then if we go round to there, but circle round loop to loop back to the right and go up, if you connect those dots, you can see that it forms an image of... of... Nothing! I was hoping for something, for something to spring out, but it, it looks, it looks nothing. It, it looks like a blob. It, it's not, it's not great. Is there any way to connect those dots and make an image? I, I'm not, I'm not getting it. Technically, you could see a running cyborg throwing a disc in front and behind him. Is anyone else getting that? I'm getting that. Either way, before more sanity leaves me, let's get on with this. Yes, sir. I'm a shooter. Shooting is happening. I'm assuming they're gonna get the inning from. Yet, yeah, see, see, Mr. Pixel on it like the proverbial Sonic. Let's go there. That one, right there. Have a look, see, have a gander. Fix your eyes upon it, get your head right in there, stuff your eye holes, and get a good fill of that word. I really, like, genuinely have no idea. What I'm talking about. Three, two, one, go! I do like when a topic is seen and instead of like, no, or I'm doomed, or the world is over, we get nice, ooh. So I'm excited. The topic will be on screen for those of you that wish to know, but for everyone else, look away now to remain blind like me. Oh, it's such a dark place. The winner of last week then was Vote Four's Dragon of Awesome. Yes, sir. Rudim in his golden armor, beating out his opponents with expert building precision. Talking of building precision, do I have a mother trucking dragon underneath my place? Because if so. Yes, Epocalize. Enjoy a little dragon, Alicia. Oh, it's a dragonized version of my bearded dragon. That is so cool. That is seriously badass. Epoch. Oh, I, <laughs> I was like, all right, there's like five different ways of complimenting this build. Brain, which one do you want to go for? Uh, I think, Mouth, I want to go for all of them. And Mouth was like, I mean, I I can't do that, brain. Do it, mouth. And mouth was like, I, 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 why aren't you doing it, mouth? I can't, brain. I just can't. Get down and give me 20. I'm a mouth. I can't do push-ups. That's never stopped you before. I've never done them before. And I had a very, like, severe argument with myself. I really did. Either way, that looks badass. That makes me very happy. Oh, I can't help notice that Cade... That Cade is there, which does remind me, I should probably start the timer. That would probably be helpful, you know. That would probably be good. But that's alright. Who the hell even cares? They either get an extra minute, or if I'm feeling particularly mean, I will end it at one minute. So Evans is really... He is very, very far gone. It's quite worrying. It's just very... I, I, I don't want to say that I could totally see this happening, but I could totally see this happening. <laughs> Snoop and Ali G. <laughs> totally hardcore week. Oh, you. I'll save you. I need you for my redstone. <laughs> God, this dramatic rendition of Cade and OJ is really getting quite special. So, I mean, quick build is special. I was thinking... The other day, while we drift through the builds, we'll introduce them a little bit later. But I was thinking, how how big of a deal is Quick Build to my channel? Those of you that have been here from the very start of it, years ago, there have been hundreds of episodes, three and a half years, more probably, of Quick Build. It's been such a cornerstone, such a regular thing on this channel for a while. And it's... It's kind of got a really steeped history legacy to it. It really, really has. It's kind of like almost, I don't know, just kind of, oh, in a way to think about it. Like happy, just whimsical, to just know 
the kind of meaning behind this very show's existence and the evolution of it over the years and all the different versions and all the different things I've done with it, the different places it's been, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands, in fact, of you guys that have been contestants over that time. It's it's such kind of a magical thing, and I realize I'm getting particularly sappy. It's probably only going, really, Rage, go with the show, all right, you lame bastard. Come on now. And I, I don't know, it's just... It's a big deal to me. It is a big deal. It really is. And, I, you know, it makes me think of the day when Quick Build inevitably ends, because nothing lasts forever, not even the tallest, strongest mountain. It'll eventually erode away. And that's quite an interesting thought. Imagine that day. It's probably quite a scary thought as well, because it would really mark a big transition for my channel. It's quite... It's quite a big deal just to think about this show, just watching these awesome people, you guys, building awesome things in a limit, some could say quickly. That concept that's been so good has done so much and means so much to me and I'm sure a lot of you guys. And there's also probably a lot of you that really don't give a shit about any of this, doesn't mean anything to any of you, you're just here for a bit of fun. You're like, I did not sign up for emotional talk, alright? I'm leaving, you goddamn prick. And you know, that's fair enough as well, so I'll move on from it. But I'd love to know what you think in that regard, honestly. I really, really do. Alright then, our contestants today, we've got over in vote one, Mr. OJ Pixel, who's been on a few times, a quality individual, who is building a sort of living evil slime creature, which looks pretty damn badass, actually, I'm kind of happy with that, I really, really am. And then over here, we got the secret E Elto Udo. The Skelto Uno. There's not the secret, the Skelto Uno. Maybe he's part of some sort of secret sect of Uno players that know some secret words, and when they start playing, they begin channeling. Hey, oh, 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 the Uno Extreme cards are flogging every single way. You think you're safe? Well, just wait. You might have no cards, you might have eight. And, you know, he just really gets going. He does look like kind of a cyborg pig. And I do like a cyborg pig in commando outfits. So that makes me happy. And then over here, we got Fenny Foo, who is, you know, it's a tier 3. It's solid enough. I mean, technically, actually, Fenny Foo could be a word. So maybe even tier 1. Oh, who looks to be building either a Kraken or the entrance to Moria. Could that be the topic? I don't know, because slimes and this thing doesn't Lord of the Rings me this much, but this kind of does. It's a magical glowing portal, so maybe, perhaps, perchance, Balak Nate! Balak Nate! Balak Nut! Either way, tier 4 scum! Though I do kind of like his uh, skin he's got going on there, so he's got that going for him. Alrighty then, we've seen what they're currently working on. Let's go have a look. These walls of signs just uh, uh, just upset me. Like, quick, let's do a giant size great um, whatever, cool. You know, I don't mind. He's trying to be trying to be chill about it, honestly. It's just it's really, really weird. All of this is weird. I have no idea what goes on in any of my arenas. I really don't. Do we have any weeklies today? We don't have a Defaria. Oh, we might retire. Dun, 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 dun. We have a runer and a Kate. Let's try Kate, see if anything goes on. Time for some target practice. Go back. Okay. Oh, I see. So I have to hit it as it goes across. I think this would be a rather explosive weekly. Okay. How do I make it... How do I, I, can I even reach? I feel like I can't reach. Oh no, I got it, I got it, I hit. Yes, boom, lovely. That's a nice little redstone mini game. I like that, just good explosive moving target practice. Ah, that's a cool return booth to the arena. That was a nice little thing to go do. That pleases me, it really, really does. This is getting quite ridiculous, actually, this is, this is, I mean, he's firing a green laser breath. I don't know about you, but I do enjoy it when my slimes fire a green laser breath. I really, really, it's, you know, it, it's a good thing. It makes me happy. It does make me happy. It makes me very, very happy indeed. Is there like a, is this, 
Is something coming out of portal? Are we summoning demons? You mean there's a summoning demon party that I've not been told about? I love summoning demon parties! I hate it when I don't get an invite to them, it's like my favorite thing! What if the cubic arcade has expanded somewhat? It's an extra bit of slime, but nothing else really of note. You lazy cubic you! God, oh, you're so lazy! And Defaria, you can't even retire! Where else are we gonna get our Australian fury from? We need the fury! We need it! Hi, and your Fasai project still trying to keep me all from it. I wish to know what you're doing. I wish it so badly. Why has he got floating head control? I mean, I guess it's quite. And why is he even not holding his own heads? That's really creepy. I mean, you don't. Who throws heads at people? Whose superpower is, aha, prepare to feel the fury of my heads? Like, dude, come on now. That is just really, just gross. I mean, at least summon some demons. At least then you got some demonic energy to work with. You at least got that going. That's a little bit nice, but damn. Don't throw heads and don't summon copies of your own head and jewel wield them like sword ball chains. I don't know. It's a new weapon. Don't question it. Do not question it. It's just not good. There are much better forms of combat. There really are. Don't go swinging your heads at people. It's it's really, really terrible. So build-wise then, it looks like the Sekul Uno is struggling a little bit. He's built a purple sort of arch monster and a little sort of... I, I don't even know what this is, honestly. Maybe the topic is monsters? It could be monsters. I mean, they kind of get a Monsters Inc. vibe from the Secret Uno, but maybe not. Fenifu, obviously, Kraken or Mori thing. Pretty apparent, looking pretty nice. And then we have our demons summoning. Uh, it's also a little bit tentacled. I do like it when my demons come ready equipped with tentacles. Otherwise, really, how else are you going to know you're going to get maximum arm suction value? And when considering the purchasing of, the purchasing of a demon, you have to consider its arm tentacle suction value. Because anything less than 3.0 is undesirable. Requis that in peace. Damn it, some assassin! I saw him approaching! I should have done something about it! God damn it, that some assassin! Oh no, guys, I have been betrayed and slain! However will I recover? However- Oh, I'm alive, it's actually okay. It's completely fine. I don't know why I even got concerned, really. I have, I have no idea what I even thought would happen, honestly. So then, uh, we got OJ Pixel with a slimy build. He's got the bones and the breath and the red eyes glowing so strong in the night. And then his opponent to his right is building a triple monster menagerie. We got a purple prancer and a green goma. Goma, you say? Is that a word? It is now. And you heard that he's also building a blue and purple spotted beast. And will it be a feast for the eyes? Or will it be more subtle? perhaps in disguise, as Fanny Fu builds what could be a giant square loo, but instead is infested with a tentacled kraken. Imagine a tentacled kraken while you're busy doing your action. That would be a little bit surprising, and it would probably do thriving in the sewers beneath your house, and it would probably feed on things a little bit larger than a mouse. You may need to be constructing a door, never once be seen before, across the vaulted door in Dexter's lab. As Belek Nashe summons demons from the void, they are tentacled and full of Floyd. Yes, they've eaten Floyd. Floyd, my man, Floyd, how could you die? But it's okay, because Belek has nice thighs. And that's my, that's my uh, build lament for today, my build monologue, my, my recap of what's going on. I think it's a fairly successful one. All things together, I'm a little bit proud of that. I think we're all okay. OJ Pixel is killing it over here with this slime. He is really making quite the beastie, but I'm loving this doorway as well. I think that is definitely a contender, especially idea-wise. But we even have the dude with a cape summoning it, so that is an excellent little bit of detail here. These two, not doing as well, but they're trying their best. That's... I mean, can we really ask any more than that? Of course we can! Work harder, dammit, or be fed to the wolves! 
Yes, I have wolves for just such occasions. I mean, it's very useful to have wolves. I can't help notice there's bits of Cade along the timer that just won't go away. But I guess that does describe Cade. He just won't go away! Which sounds like I'm being mean, but really, you'd know. You'd know. He deserves it. He does. Oh, 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 he does. I don't know where I was going there. Ho, ho, ho. Sorry, I let out my inner Santa there for just a second. It's all right, though. Don't worry about it. We're all okay. 30 seconds then on their accidentally extended clock. It looks like, I mean, it does look very interesting. He's got time to build a vote sign, which is nice. Let's find out the topic then. What? What is your prediction? What was... The topic, that's what I want to know. I'm thinking monster. That's that's the best I got here, just general monster. No, no, I can't. No, no, that's, that's why I asked fool. That's why I asked fool. Kind of takes away from, from the impact of that. Monsters! Yay, I got it. <laughs> Awesome! So yeah, monsters, there we go. Lovely and stop. Alrighty then. Over. Shut up, fool! <laughs> Over in vote one then, we got a living slime, a la Final Fantasy firing toxic nauseous breath upon a poor unsuspecting soul. What's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? Is it a monster? Surrounded by bones, a pretty damn good build. So we got Monsters Inc. over here, we got Mike and Sully and... I've forgotten the purple one, so I'm going to walk on before I embarrass myself. Then no, over no, three, we have the Kraken. Very much like the entrance to Moria. Pretty damn cool looking. I like the water flowing through its gaping maw. And then finally, we have an individual at an altar offering his blood to summon forth something that should never have been given the light of day. The Black Darkness Demon Kraken through the magical gateway. I love that a lot, especially IDOI. So vote one, slime. Vote two, monsters, ink. Vote Free Kraken, vote for Demon Nether Summon Kraken. My name has been Rage. Remember to like if you've enjoyed this and keep the series growing strong. And subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye.